Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on the physiological changes of late pregnancy relevant to anesthesia part 2. Gastrointestinal system. In the third trimester, 70% of mothers have symptoms of GERD and heartburn. Cephalic displacement of the stomach and intestines occur. There is increased intragastric pressure. Loss of lower esophageal sphincter tone results in esophageal barrier pressure reduced. There is a fall in intestinal transit time. Duodenal gastric reflux occurs. Gastric emptying is delayed in labor. Gastric residual volumes are increased. Placental gastrin secretion increases and may contribute to increased maternal gastric hyperacidity. There is mildly elevated GGT, ALT, AST, and LDH in normal pregnancy. Elevated alkaline phosphatase up to 3 times is due to placental production. Gallstones are more common. There is reduced protein synthesis by up to 25%. There is decreased plasma cholinesterase and serum albumin is decreased. Anesthetic implications. Reduced risk of pulmonary aspiration of gastric contents by an acid prophylaxis using H2 antagonists, proton pump inhibitors, and sodium citrate, and cricot pressure applied during RSI. Drugs metabolized by plasma cholinesterase may have prolonged duration of action. Central nervous system. There is increased sensitivity to all drugs which act centrally. MAC of anesthetic agents decreases by about one third due to the influence of progesterones and endogenous beta endorphins. Requirements for local anesthetics also decrease, which may be related to an increased availability of free drug and to hormonally enhanced neural sensitivity. Increased sensitivity to opioids and sedatives. Epidural vein engorgement. Reduced volume of the epidural space occurs. The dose of local anesthetics for epidural analgesia or epidural or subarachnoid anesthesia is reduced by one third as the spread of LA in the subarachnoid and epidural space is more extensive due to the reduced volume. Progesterone induced hyperventilation results in low PaCO2, reduced buffering capacity, and local anesthetic drugs remain as free salts for longer periods. Pregnancy produces anti-nociceptive effects. The onset of nerve blocks is more rapid. Human peripheral nerves have been shown to be more sensitive to lidocaine during pregnancy. Increased plasma and CSF progesterone concentrations contribute towards the reduced excitability of the nervous system. Increased pressure in the epidural space facilitates diffusion across the dura and produces higher concentrations of local anesthetic in the CSF. Venous congestion of the lateral foramina decreases loss of local anesthetic along dural sleeves. Pain pathways in labor and caesarean section. The uterus and cervix, afferent nerve supply of the uterus and cervix is via the A delta and C fibers. These accompany the thoracolumbar and sacrosympathetic outflows. Pain of the first stage of labor is referred to the spinal cord. Segments associated with for the uterus is T10 to T12, cervix is L1. Pain of distension of birth canal and perineum is conveyed via the S2 to S4 nerves. Anesthetic requirements for caesarean section. All layers between the skin and the uterus must be anesthetized. The block should extend up to at least T4 and also include the sacral roots S1 to S5 to cold and T5 to touch as the most sensitive layer is the peritoneum. Anesthetic implications. Reduction in the doses of anesthetic agents, sedatives, and analgesics. However, consider interpatient variability and take all measures to prevent awareness during GA or excessive pain. Musculoskeletal system. Increases in progesterone and relaxin results in increased ligamentous laxicity. Increased lumbar lordosis helps accommodate the enlarging uterus. Anesthetic implications. Scrupulous positioning of the patient. 
appropriate supports and protection to minimize the post-operative backache or joint problems. Renal and acid base. There is increased renal plasma flow and GFR by up to 50%, increased clearance of urea and creatinine results in lower plasma levels, mild increase in glycosuria and proteinuria may be seen in normal pregnancy, there is a decrease in plasma osmolality, increased bicarbonate excretion counteracts the respiratory alkalosis. In the non-pregnant patient, urea is 2.5 to 6.7 millimoles per liter. In the term pregnancy, it is 2.3 to 4.3 millimoles per liter. For non-pregnant patient, creatinine is 70 to 150 micromoles per liter and decreases to 50 to 75 micromoles per liter. In the non-pregnant patient, urate is 200 to 350 micromoles per liter and this decreases to 150 to 350 micromoles per liter. In the non-pregnant patient, bicarbonate is 22 to 26 millimoles per liter and decreases to 18 to 26 millimoles per liter. 24-hour creatinine clearance is increased in term pregnancy. Endocrine and metabolic. Progesterone relaxes smooth muscle. Arterioles dilate. Venous capacitance increase. Blood volume increase. Cardiac output increase. And there is increase in blood flow. Oxygen unloading in the placenta is facilitated. Kidneys excrete bicarbonate to maintain homeostasis. Progesterone also stimulates respiration by increasing tidal volume and minute volume. PaCO2 decreases oxyhemoglobin dissociation curve and shift in the P50 results in increased blood flow and facilitates oxygen unloading in the placenta as well. There is also decreased systemic vascular resistance and decreased pulmonary vascular resistance which helps in increasing the blood flow and oxygen delivery to the fetus. There is increase in the size of the pituitary gland. There is increase in thyroid binding globulin, thyroxine, and triiodothyronine. Free thyroxine index is unchanged. There is increased insulin production, but it is outweighed by increased insulin resistance. Insulin does not cross the placenta. Maternal hyperglycemia will lead to increased fetal insulin production and potential neonatal hypoglycemia. There is increased oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide production by 60% at term. Pharmacokinetics of drugs. There is increase in volume of distribution, prolonged elimination half-life for many drugs, decrease in plasma choline esterase levels. There is a 30% decrease in the level of plasma choline esterase. Actions of succinamethonium are prolonged in many pregnant patients. Greatest implications for those patients with atypical choline esterases. There is increase in renal blood flow and glomerular filtration enhances the clearance of drugs excreted renally. There is decrease in maternal albumin may increase the amount of free drug present in the plasma which may enhance its effect. The diffusion of drugs across the placenta obeys the fixed law of diffusion and the principles of drug transfer across the lipid membrane also applies. There is decrease in MAC and increased sensitivity to anesthetic agents. Miscellaneous, rapid sequence induction, choice of drug. A rocuronium sugamadex technique has its advocates, but others cite the rapidity of saxamethonium action up to 35 seconds quicker as the prime reason for its continued use in obstetrics. Cricot pressure during RSI. Cricot pressure in obstetric anesthesia is still recommended. Cricot deformation can make intubation more difficult. Backwards, upwards, and rightwards pressure maneuver may well improve the view. These are my references. Thank you.